Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing something very different and something that I'm not very good at, Photoshop. So recently I've been getting into the program and doing some sketches of cars and designs of future models and I will admit I'm not very good. However, I figured I would make a video and turn it into some lovely content for you to enjoy. Um, so today we are going to be recreating or well designing my interpretation of the upcoming Ford Baby Bronco. This is a mid-size SUV that's off-roady and meant to mirror the larger full-size Bronco. It's going to come out next year. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be trying to design it in Photoshop uh, and fail terribly. Um, so to do this, we're going to be using a base car. And our base car is going to be this, the Citroen C3 Aircross. Yeah, it's not what you think of when you think of an off-road SUV. However, it's the closest in profile to the leaks. And I figured, why not give it a shot? See how we do. There's, don't have to do all that much work to this car to make it look like a Bronco. Well, it's a lot of work, but let's see how we go, shall we? Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So as I mentioned, we are going to be using the Citroen C3 Across as our base car. Uh, the first thing I did was clean up a little s the rearmost pillar. Uh, as you can see, it's got this like weird white design on it, so I just cleaned that up. Um, there's not actually that much work you have to do to this car to make it look like it should. I just I did some other little things before we got into the main part of the redesign. So we've got here the I did the mirrors, uh, make them look a bit darker and a bit like the Bronco Leak. So now the main part of the job was on the front end. So, as you can see, I'm just airbrushing out the actual Citroen design cues, and we're going to, with like a, like a, a light red color that kind of matches the paint. And as you can see, we're kind of, we're extending the front end, so it basically gives it a more muscular stance and makes it look less like a rounded front-wheel drive, three-cylinder SUV. Um, and yeah, it, it's starting to take shape. Like you can see, it's it's, it's already more, it's, it's bold and it's more, a, a you know, visually Im imposing than the standard car. So just touching it up with a bit of airbrush here. Um, and next we move on to the grill. So as you see on the uh, leak, there's a link in the description if I don't put it on screen. Um, it's got a massive, a kind of massive black open grill uh, with like a Ford little insignia. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm just extending it, trying to decide how big I want it. Yeah, filling in the rest of the gaps. Um, so I think it's, so... This is the main part of the work at the front end. We're just patching up the gaps. And now we will move on to the headlights. So my, the closest car I could find with headlights that match that of the Jeep, of the um, Ford Leak, was the Jeep Renegade crossover. Um, it's actually similar in concept to the Bronco. It's a kind of off-roady compact SUV that made by a company that's known for off-road vehicles. Um, so you can see I'm just tracing out the headlights here. And we're going to drop them onto the uh, Citroen. So I was a bit indecisive here on what to do. Uh, and yeah, we've got, got them sized up. So now we move on to the grill insignia. So th for this, I decided to, I got the Ford badging from the an F-150 Raptor. Uh, basically, yeah, a little bit more indecision with the headlights, and I cut off the the background, kind of made, give them, gave them a bit of a light tint, as uh, you see here, which kind of made them look like the LED things that you see on the leak. Um, so we just fiddling with it, making trying to resize up the badge, see the, figure out the proportions and exactly what I want to do, um, and then we started adding the little lights, the little light sections that stem off the headlights. So just filling it in with color matched white, like a little white rectangle. Um, so you can see it's already starting to take shape. The overall overall shape and profile is there. Um, so now we're moving on to the lower section of the design. Uh, so we have a basically just taking out all the little Citroen skid plate and replacing it with one big black section like we see on the leak. Uh, on that car, there's like a big black section, a little cutout for the license plate. You'll see what we do with that in a moment. Um, we cut off that section, yep. So now we move on to the license plate. 
Here we go. I was cutting out a little rounded rectangle, uh, which will, yeah, and then separating off a little black line, which I think actually looks pretty cool and somewhat realistic in many ways. But keep in mind, I'm not very good at Photoshop. That's why this title is t named what it is. So then we took the skid plate from a modern diesel-powered Ranger Raptor, uh, since it was, I felt it was the best fit for the project. Um, and as you can see, coloring it in, giving a little bit of, little bit of highlights there, with some of the contrasting, with a little uh, complementing color that makes it look a little bit more plausible. So then we took the tow hooks. We took the tow, we took the tow hooks off a uh, Jeep tra Cherokee Trailhawk. Um, so this was basically just a, a cut and paste, and looked kind of like the like skid hook, like this, like the tow hooks you'd find on a Raptor badged car. Um, and adding a couple little accents there, little like vents, um, to get, to basically break up the slab of black and make it look better. So next we move on to the wheels. Now these, probably the most implausible looking part of the build, uh, or the little sketch. So I got, again, referring back to the Ranger Raptor, uh, we grab, take the wheels, so rub out all the little extras, drag them onto the design. Uh, we flipping around, did some stuff here with the skew tools and um, just making him fit the Citroen body a bit better. I would have wanted to lift up the Citroen, make the wheel arches a bit bigger, but ultimately that's just not how it turned out. I didn't end up doing that. Uh, but I still think it looks <laughs> looks pretty funny, <laughs> pretty comical, uh, that these would probably be like 14 inch rims on a car like this. So yeah, it's pretty funny seeing little mini Raptor wheels scale down to the size of a compact city crossover. Uh, as you can see, it, it, yeah, it's looking pretty cool. Um, obviously, this is... N don't... Don't submit this to Jalopnik and pretend it's a real car, because it's not. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's looking pretty funny. Um, but it gets the idea across of what... Another interpretation of what Ford's uh, Bay Bronco is going to look like. So, here is the final design, and I'll put the leak on screen, and we'll just go back and forth, uh, show you what they look like. I think it looks okay. Obviously, I'm not designing a car from scratch. I'm just basing it off an aircross. So, obviously, the things the things can be improved. Like I put a little license plate in the, in the holder and put a you know color the roof rails, color the roof. So, but yeah, uh, let me know what you think of my terrible Photoshop attempt. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it. If you do want to see more videos like this, please, please let me know in the comments down below. I will happily do these. Um, I have some other ideas, some things I want to do. Maybe Porsche. Porsche Taycan, some other cool ideas, some other things I want to do. So, yeah, just uh, let me know. And that's all for this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.